In this video, I want to explain to you the difference between fixed position and sticky position. Bear in mind, in this video, I'm not going to show you how to do it. I just want to explain the difference. In another video, I'm going to take the time to show you how to create a sticky navigation and a fixed navigation. So for the difference, a fixed navigation is basically I mean, a fixed position is a position that you can use to make something stick to its position while you scroll. So whenever you are scrolling, it's going to stay here. This is not the best example. Let me show you that here. So I have an animation that whenever I scroll down, the nav bar get, you know, just go to the top. And whenever I go back up, it shows again. And this is made with an animation called on scroll and we only have direction down replay yes preset slide out top that's it if i remove it and then i scroll my navigation is going to be fixed on the top uh, on the top of the page so this is it for the fixed position there's nothing more to explain to it uh it's pretty much self-explanatory okay on the other hand, for sticky, it's more complex than it sounds. When should you use the sticky position? Let me show you that on this page. So for this example, this is a sticky navigation. If I would have done like a fixed position, it will only stay here for the entire page. But you want to use sticky position when you only want to make something stick to a position for a particular section. But whenever you are done with the section, it gets away um, from the page. So that's the difference between a sticky and fixed. Fixed cannot make it disappear after you uh, scroll down from a section, but with a sticky position, you can do that. So let me show you after I finish like all the sections, it's going to get it um, out of the way. Hair loss. And you see now this is the last section finish here. And it goes up with it. And now we're done. So that's basically when should he use a sticky position. Hopefully I was able to explain it to you. But in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create this. Because it was kind of pain in the ass, honestly, to come up with this. Uh, and even like with this smooth scrolling section. Uh, it's a nice feature to build uh, for whatever you want to do with it. Like could be, for instance, this the best uh, example for that is like a blog post with um, like a small nav bar. What, what's called already? Like it's a uh, table of contents. Yeah. So that's a great use case. Uh, it could be like, a sticky position and whenever you are done reading the article then this will disappear as well and this is not achievable with a fixed position so hopefully i answered your question or concern if you have any more question then just put them down on the description uh, i mean on the comments and i'll get down to them see you next time